Harish goes to school. Harish was the son of a lowly village potter. He wanted to go to school, but he was afraid that the other students would not let him enter. He would often stand outside the school compound and try to hear what was being taught. One day, he heard the teacher say that every child in India has the right to education. Harish decided to claim his right. The next day, he went to school. The other boys told him he could not enter because he was a potter's son. That does not matter, replied Harish. Everyone has a right to study in our country. The boys were very angry at his answer and beat him up badly. But Harish did not leave the school. He was determined to study. Every day, the boys would beat him, but he did not leave. Finally, they accepted him as their classmate. The coastal area of Andhra Pradesh One day, the sea was full of high waves. Soon, there was an announcement saying that a hurricane would be hitting their village. When Santosh heard this, he rushed to bring his boats to a safer area before leaving the village. By the time he had dragged his boats to safety, the sky was overcast. Santosh was rushing home when he heard a voice calling for help. He looked around but could see no one. The shouting continued. Santosh was near a cliff. When he looked over the side, he saw a young boy hanging on to a tree, growing from the cliff wall. He had been blown over by the strong winds. Risking his own life, Santosh held out his hand to the boy and helped him climb up the cliff wall. He then carried the boy on his back to the nearest shelter. Phidias saves the animals from a flood. Phidias was 11 years old. She lived in a village in Kashmir and loved to play with animals. She had decided to become a veterinary doctor when she grew up. One day, there was a heavy rainfall and river Jhelum began overflowing. No one was prepared for the sudden flood. People scrambled to save their lives and rescue their belongings. Phidias suddenly realized that no one was thinking about the animals. The cows were still inside the barns, the dogs were tied to their posts, and the horses were tied to their carts. They would be killed in the flood. Phidias ran out and tried to save the animals. She untied all the animals. She opened the doors so that the animals might escape to a safer ground. She took the smaller animals like hens, etc. to the roof of her house where they would be safe. Punky helps arrest terrorists. Punky lived in the northeastern part of India. She was a young and courageous girl. Every day, she would go out in the forest and collect leaves and plants to feed her baby goat. One day, when she was climbing the mountains, she saw three men hiding behind a tree. She was very curious about them. 
and hid behind a huge rock to find out more. She realized that the men were not Indians. They were terrorists who were plotting something dangerous. Panky silently moved away. Once she was at a distance, she ran back to the city. She did not stop until she reached the police station. She told them what she had seen and guided the policemen back to the spot where the terrorists were hiding. Thanks to Panky, the terrorists were apprehended before they could put their plan into action. Natalie overpowers hijacker. Natalie loved to travel. She used to work as an air hostess and this gave her an opportunity to see many countries. On one of her flights, she noticed a man behaving strangely. Before she could do anything, the man suddenly jumped up and said, Nobody should move. I am hijacking the plane. All the passengers were scared and some people began to scream out of fear. This enraged the hijacker. Natalie and the crew requested the hijacker to let them move in the aisle and take care of the passengers. They quickly tried to calm down the passengers. Natalie noticed that the hijacker was not very confident. In a short while, he had become very nervous and tense. She waited until he was wiping the perspiration off his face. Suddenly, she lunged for his gun. Once she had his gun, the other crew members managed to restrain him. Thanks for watching. Do like, share, subscribe to Sahil Book House.